The Veep watch is heating up, and one of Mitt Romney's potential choices sits intriguingly between safe and bold. We're talking about Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal, of course. And Peter Nicholas now joins us, Wall Street Journal's Peter Nicholas from Washington. Good morning, Peter. Good to see you. So for people who don't know Bobby Jindal, who is he? Well, Bobby Jindal is a young, very accomplished uh, governor of Louisiana, something of a wonderkind. Um, he uh, was a Rhodes Scholar, uh, studied at Oxford. He, uh, at age 24, he was um, appointed by the governor of Louisiana to serve uh, to head a, a health and hospitals uh, agency in Louisiana. And he's been on a fast track ever since. Uh, he's in his second term as governor and has done a credible job, has accomplished a pretty solid record. And he is, uh, presents sort of a different face of the Republican Party. He is, uh, he's youthful. He is the son of uh, Indian immigrants. So he's a person of color. And in that sense, uh, he has to be attractive to the Romney campaign, which is eager to show a different side of the Republican Party, to show that it's not just uh, white men who are dominating this party. There's another generation coming along. For those reasons, uh, Bobby Jindal is an attractive uh, candidate on the short list. Now, we talk about being the face of the Republican Party. He had a chance to do that famously in 2009 when he gave the Republican response to yeah. the state of the, to Barack Obama's State of the Union address. And it was fa famously a flop, really, r r r wasn't it? It, it was. It was, uh, it was an unfortunate performance. Uh, his voice was something of a sing-song. He seemed a little bit out of his depth. Uh, he looked uncomfortable. Uh, the speech, if you read the speech on paper, the speech was fine. But that's not how people absorb information you know, when they watch television. It's, it's how you look. It's how you come across. Uh, and he, uh, he, it was something of a flop, but he's bounced back and he's stayed with it and he's done some credible work for the Romney campaign. He's, uh, he's been on the trail for Mitt Romney. He's been something of an attack dog comparing Barack Obama to Jimmy Carter, um, saying that uh, Obama is liberal and incompetent in the way Carter was. So he's bounced back from that debacle in 2009, tried to rebuild, tried to get over it. And uh, memories are short in um, American politics, so it's probably something that's, um, you know, certainly not the death knell of his political career. Now, one thing that is kind of an intriguing part of his biography that people might focus on if Romney chose him, of course, he wrote back in 1994 about a, a strange yeah. kind of exorcism-like uh, ceremony he participated in at Brown. Can, can you ta that's talk right. a little bit about that and what he's, he hasn't said much, right? He's said very little about it. Uh, he wrote an essay in 1994 about participating in what sounds like an exorcism uh, when he was an undergraduate at, at Brown and where he describes watching an instance where uh, a student was, um, what, uh, who I guess uh, some of his friends believed uh, had some demons or uh, they held up a crucifix, they tried to uh, uh, rid the, um, the unholy spirits from, from this person. And uh, that's something that's gotten very little attention. Uh, his only response to it was uh, a prepared statement by his staff saying, he, you know, he, he did some goofy things when he was young. But that's something that uh, the vetters on the uh, Obama campaign are going to take a hard look at and something that could get a lot of attention if he's chosen. And th this is one reason why he might not be a safe pick, because that might, that might, that's something that could be easily mocked and something that might be hard for him to explain. What does, would choosing Bobby Jindal do for, say, geographic balance, appealing to voters? Well, it does actually very little. It helps Romney very little in that sense. So Mitt Romney is going to win Louisiana whether or not Bobby Jindal is on the ticket. So in that sense, Jindal is not as potentially valuable or useful to Romney as, say, Rob Portman of Ohio. Ohio is a huge, hugely important battleground state that Romney desperately needs to win. Um, and so Jindal is not going to provide that kind of help uh, in terms of geographic balance. Okay, and last, I mean, one other thing, how is Louisiana itself doing under Bobby Jindal? What's his record? Uh, his record is uh, pretty fair. Uh, he's had an interesting record. He has uh, rejected some stimulus money. He's been uh, fiscal, fis fiscal conservative largely. Uh, there's been some ethical issues where uh, there's been some complaints that he has appointed campaign contributors, have gotten, gotten um, appointments to different state positions. But generally a solid record. Louisiana, which I used to cover in the 1990s, state with a terrible record of corruption. And I think he's largely stayed clear of the, of the most egregious kinds of excesses in that regard. So I think he has a uh, solid defensible record and certainly uh, nothing disqualifying there.
Great. Thank you so much for joining us, Peter. Fascinating possibility.